all right what's up everybody we are back with another video i know i'm a little late to these boots uh, as you guys can already tell it's the adidas x ghosted point ones but i mean you know what they say is better at late than never uh also i did notice that they released the brand new speed flows which will be replaced in the ghosted line uh so i mean on the bright side these are gonna start being heavily discounted pretty much so they can get rid of them and start making spaces for the speed flow so i mean honestly this is actually a pretty well-timed video for anybody who's trying to see an honest review on how the boot works and whether or not you guys should buy them or not so getting started with the boot here we have a regular box because it is a takedown model it's the point one there's the tag and my six and a half that's my usual size i'm gonna go ahead and take the boots out i did get the in-flight pack which is the release colorway uh, like I said, because they were discounted. And I mean, I just like them. They look really good. So here we go with the boot. Super nice from the box. Here we have the upper. The upper is pretty much a fluoro skin upper. That's what they're calling it. It's just a super, super thin upper uh, that actually has like a grid-like pattern. Sorry about the tag. It has a grid-like pattern, as you can see right there. I guess, you know, to add some stability and some lockdown, it goes all the way around the boot. Uh, it doesn't seem to change its weave anywhere, so it's knit just about the same around the whole boot. Uh, it's super, super thin, as you guys can see. You can see how thin it is right here. Uh, it's so thin, it's, it's see-through. I don't know if you guys can see my hand through there. Yep, there's my hand. It's, it's very see-through. The upper is so thin, they had to add these black supports right here to hold the laces in place, probably because if you pull them too tight, you could possibly tear this synthetic if it didn't have that support so i mean it's it's a very thin upper hopefully it's nice and comfortable uh, hopefully it's a little bit has a little bit more lockdown than the plus because i did wear the plus and i did not like the lockdown at all as you guys can see this is the laced option the laces are pushed a little bit to the medial side of the boot uh it does have a dual lace hole setup which is nice and i mean yeah it's just the upper looks so good this colorway is so nice here we have the exterior heel counter for the sole plate. Here's the Adidas logo. Uh, it's upside down. Uh, it's like that so that when you look down at the boot, you know, let's say you're wearing a boot and you look down, it looks upright to you. Uh, that's what it's there for. And I mean, yeah, that's pretty much the upper. Uh, just a super thin synthetic with absolutely nothing going on on the inside other than this support. There's no mesh liner or anything. Here we have the heel. Inside we have these two very puffy heel pillows. Uh, they were pretty comfortable on the plus. Uh, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna put in some work here too. The tongue area is actually pretty soft, pretty elasticated as well. Um, maybe, I feel like it has just about the same give as the Pro, but you know, you can loosen these laces a lot more than the laceless version so uh this should fit a lot more people uh one thing to note it does come with these shoe horns included uh, you know you can put them back in there keep the shape of the boot but they are super super hard to get out they fit pretty much perfectly to the boot and here we have the insole it's just a super thin insole with the little x ghosted point one logo right there perforations uh, right there as you can see they come out the other side and it's just a super thin it's pretty soft uh, from the top it's like soft almost suede like and it's just super thin and super lightweight keeping up with uh, the you know the idea of the boot to be super super light and super super thin uh, it's a low cut design as you can see it has a very nice little v cut here which i actually do like it does look pretty cool i like how the like, heel comes up a little bit higher uh, so that way it doesn't feel like you're gonna fall out of the boots and that's pretty much it with the upper i mean it's pretty nice hopefully it's comfortable uh it is kind of plasticky if i could say so so uh it's probably gonna take a little bit of breaking time not sure how long hopefully not too long but uh i will be wearing these and seeing how long it takes me to break these in now moving down to the sole plate it's the exact same sole plate and stud pattern found on the ghosted plus yeah on the x ghosted plus is the exact same and i mean i understand why i did wear the plus and it is just super nice it's super aggressive 
as you can see we have some type of bladed almost chevron shaped because of this little nudge right here i guess it's to give you a little bit more of rotational uh you know abilities to be able to turn a little bit easier than with a fully bladed stud but i mean this stud pattern is very aggressive it's very nice it has a very good bite to it as you can see it's completely plastic all throughout except for this little part right here which is a carbon fiber insert by the company carbotex so um this is an adidas technology they buy it off a company called carbotex but it is very nice it really does stiffen up the sole plate real nice right here and it definitely gives it a nice spring back effect pretty much to you know have your foot ready for that next step does it really work i mean yeah probably but i mean is it really gonna make a big difference in the game and eh, no probably not but i mean it's still nice it looks super cool the only difference between this sole plate and the plus sole plate is that it's not it does not have a chrome finish on it which honestly in my opinion is okay mostly because uh, it's gonna wear off anyways so it's gonna end up looking like this after you know a decent amount of playing time here at the bottom we have an adidas logo and yeah that's pretty much it don't forget the little stud right there the stability stud is shaped in an arrow going forward because it's missed the ball it's a speed boost it's all about going fast forward now one last thing to mention about the boot if you do notice it does have a raised toe box uh it's just made to mimic a track spike and put you on your toes so that you're ready for that next step um from wearing the pros uh yeah it does put you on your toes does it really make a difference in the field i um, honestly i don't know but i mean it's a cool concept after all you know you guys can see that it is raised there but yeah that's pretty much the boot and all of its tech and specs i'm gonna go ahead and put them on feet so i can see how comfortable they are and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right what's up everybody here we are with the on feet portion and as you can see they look super super nice i'm pretty sure all the colorways look really good on feet i will say though um they were a little bit easier to put on than the pros um, mostly because you do have the lacing system so it allows you to pull those laces very very loose and put them on no matter how wide your feet are but it was super i mean it was a lot easier but they do still have a very snug fit really do wrap my foot very tightly so this boot it's not really for people with wide feet, you know, uh, they're probably not going to fit you or they're probably not going to be comfortable uh, after a while, after you wear them for long periods of time. I mean, other than that, I personally do like the tightness. I'm more of a tight cleat person. You know, I love my materials. Materials are my favorite boots. But I mean, yeah, if you know, if you're looking into these, uh, just know uh, they are a very snug fit for, you know, pretty much for your narrow footed people. Um, other than that, I mean, they fit real nice. I like them, they look real cool. As you can see, they are see-through. You can see my black socks throughout the boot. And uh, showing you guys, this is me flat-footed. This is me on my toes. And you can see the toe box is not touching the floor. And now it is, and I'm on my toes, ready to take a sprint. That was how the boot was designed. The sole plate is pretty stiff thanks to that carbon fiber insert in there, which I do kind of like. Uh, one thing is that, you know, the plastic does bulge the upper because it is kind of plasticky, as you can see right there. It creases and it bulges a lot. Also. But I mean, other than that, you don't really feel it. It just looks kind of unattractive. But yeah, that's the on feet portion. Uh, definitely go true to size. Do not play around with these sizes in any way. The size and length is perfect. My toe is right there at the top of the boot, which is how I like my boot. So maybe if you do want a little bit of extra space, maybe go up a half a size. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not one to ask. I don't really, like I said, I don't play around with these boot sizes, mostly just because I'm scared that I'm not going to get it right. I'm going to have to return it. And it's just too much to deal with. I'd rather just, you know, wear my usual size and I'll be okay with it. But that's the on feet portion. We're going to go ahead and move on to my final thoughts. So you guys can... Uh, hear what I think about the boot and whether or not I would recommend it to you guys. So I'll see you guys over there. All right guys, so here we are with my final thoughts on the boot. Overall, it's a very nice boot. I do really like it. Uh, the adjustability with the laces does help a lot with the fit compared to the pro version because it is uh, a laced boot and the other one is laceless. So the laces has no adjustability. The way it fits is the way it's going to fit. 
Uh, I really do like these. The upper is a little bit plasticky, but other than that, I mean, it's a pretty solid boot. It feels real good on my feet. Very, very snug. Would I recommend it? Uh, yeah, if you guys really want a pair, especially now's the time to buy because they are going to start getting discounted since they have released the Speedflow Point One. I will be making a play test with these boots uh, so you guys can uh, see, you know, how they felt after about a month or so of playing with them in real conditions. You know, you guys can make a buying decision. But I mean, other than that, would I recommend them as of now? Uh, yes, except if you have wide feet, uh, you're probably not gonna fit too well in these, and they're probably you're probably gonna start feeling a lot of pressure in the midsole. I mean, in the uh, midfoot and probably on the sole somewhere because of the stiffness and just, you know, it's not wide enough to accommodate the foot. Uh, so, I mean, they're probably not gonna fit you if you have wide feet, but if you have narrow feet to regular-ish feet, uh, to even just barely getting into the wide feet section, then definitely go ahead and give these a try, especially if you really wanted these. These, this specific colorway is already very nicely discounted. These retail for $225, which is actually $50 cheaper than the plus version of these. So they're already somewhat on the cheaper side. And these specifically, like I said, this colorway is on a discount already and also our other colorways. So, I mean, if you want to get your hands on a pair, now is definitely the time before they completely go out of stock. And, you know, they're pretty much going to be gone forever. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please let me know where they like and our comment down below and of course guys subscribe let's get that family growing we're almost at 150 subscribers which is a super small number for some of you guys but for me it really does mean the world and i appreciate all of you guys for the support with all that being said i catch all of you guys in the next one